might seem a bit old school, um, email marketing. Um, you may have tried it, you may not have got um, the right uh, kind of response, uh, and therefore people um, might have an impression that email marketing doesn't work. But actually, um, you know, it's probably one of the, the digital marketing activities that gives you the best return. So um, again, so that's you know, for every one pound spent, um, the average ROI is forty one pounds um, on email marketing. Um, and 79% of those people that are involved in digital marketing um, rank uh, results from email marketing as either good or excellent. So the stats are there. Um, I think the challenge with email marketing is making sure that it works for you properly. So I'll just go through some of the things that we look at when we do email marketing um, to make sure that uh, you know, kind of you're, you're following best practice. Um, what I would say is, again, I think restaurant, a lot of restaurants miss an opportunity to engage people that have come through their doors, have, have ate at their restaurants, um, and that missed opportunity is not being able to collect some information about the, uh, those users so you can then go out and communicate with them. Um, you know, we know that, for example, um, if, you're, if you've got a, you know, if you come in and you're running an offer, you're, you're grabbing emails, you're giving yourself a better opportunity to be able to um, communicate with them, push out messages, push out offers, and keep that constant engagement of users that's needed to make sure that they, they keep on returning back to the restaurant. So the question is, how do you write uh, an email um, you know, well, and how do you maximize results of email marketing? Um, it's, yeah, there's no kind of, uh, set theory you can take. I think it depends on the target market, it depends on who you're going after, it depends on um, you know, the time that you uh, target these people. But there are kind of two or three things that we normally look for in a deep and good email campaign. Number one is personalization. Um, I think it's really important not to be sending people uh, emails that are just not relevant to them, right? You know, so um, it's always important to make sure that we understand users and we understand users through, for example, their social media interaction. So there are tools out there that can help us understand that so that when we deliver email marketing campaigns, it's really specifically targeted at different segments. So yes, there will never be the case that you, you can do it, but on a, on a uh, often basis, it will never be that we will always run um, you know, one big mail shot at everybody with one common message. You know, the right way to do email is to make sure that we're properly targeting um, customers with the right sort of message. Now, again, if we're collecting data properly from our users, we might know that some people are more um, sort of like uh, Chinese cuisine more than you know, on their state. So, um, you know, by collecting that data, and also that's a, that's a trick and one of the things that we do with restaurants, but by collecting that data, you can better target the sort of people that you're communicating with. Engagement is probably the biggest part. I mean, how many emails do we all get? You know, loads, you know, and, and how much time do you spend reading them? Very little. So the, the first thing that um, a good email campaign should have is, is a very strong um, subject line. And, and again, that subject line has got to be enticing enough for people to open it. So um, one of the, the biggest kind of fouls of uh, email campaigns is that the um, subject matter appears irrelevant to the recipient or it doesn't um, sufficiently you know, interest them to know um, that email. So it's important that we have the right um, um, strong subject matter uh, in the email. I think, you know, Within reason, humor, funny emails, bold emails are the emails that typically work well. Um, you know, things that are minimal contents, uh, things that people can skim through but get the core message. Um, so, you know, we, we, we typically find that longer emails don't have um, the, the, the click through rate that you find um, through shorter emails, more concise, you know, to the point, this is what we're doing or this is what we're offering or, you know, this is specifically for you. Click on the link to find out more information. So, the content of the email is obviously really important um, and we'd probably advise that you know you keep that as short and as concise as possible because people do you know nowadays even for the web they don't read things you know they skim read and so it's important when they're skim reading an email you're really hitting them with the right points to make sure that that um, is you know maximizing the, the amount of attention that you get um, I think a clear call to action is really important um, you know again um, where we've seen um, the best kind of conversion rates is being where you know, there's been a big button somewhere which says, look, click here, this is what you have to do. Where you're kind of hiding something within the text link, we typically find that you know, those links are not clicked on. So a very clear call to action um, also tends to maximize the sort of return that you get from your emails uh, or your email campaign. On personalization, you know, we know, for example, that um, I think the stat, again, stats are something like um, 
you've got to contact someone between five and seven times for them to take notice, right? So with an email campaign, it's never the case that it's just one email short and you can forget about it. Okay, so I think that the specific restaurant, uh, the specific data that restaurants might hold for us is at the moment would be the biggest kind of, uh, you know, the most valuable because these people that come into your restaurant <coughs> and you know they've got some degree of engagement with you already and you understand them. Um, yeah, we do run um, general B to C type uh, email campaigns, but for sure the their results are not as you know, as not as good as restaurants that you are where people have come to you. Right. Um, so we use that as an asset, and we use techniques to basically encourage that group that have already engaged with us to go out and push the message out wider. So you know, we always give them a lot of things like refer them out, incentives to um, get them to you know, bring other people along or to share stuff. So um, we work both, and I think you have to. Work both, but um, for sure, like I said, you know, the biggest value is, is in the, the stuff that people have come through um, you know, the door, and you've got that as your own kind of in house um, database. And I think, again, this is where restaurants sometimes miss a trick you know, when people come into the come into you, you want to have a meal, um, whether it's through a feedback form or whether it's through um, something where we're offering them, look, you know, um, £50 off your next meal if you kind of fill out this form and leave us your email. Um, you know, maximizing the amount of people and uh, emails we're getting it again enable us to then go out and engage them and then push out from them. So um, yeah there are techniques that we can use to, to maximize that, that sort of list. But yeah we're we'll talking about both but um, without doubt the restaurant email database has has better value.